Almighty God, show mercy, Lord. Cleanse us with your precious blood. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's be on our feet. If you know you cannot stand, just sit where you are. God will hear you. Praise the Lord. But if you know you can stand, be on your feet. Praise Master Jesus. Say, Father Lord, every satanic power try to attack me, try to kill me, try to put me to confusion. What are you waiting for? Scatter by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Yeah, wait. 
Amen. Your expectation will not be destroyed. Amen. Your expectation will not be cut off. Amen. Because God is with you. Amen. If God be for you, no one can be against you. You are welcome. Amen. You are highly favored and blessed. Amen. God is with you. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Father Lord, I pray. This hour, Lord, I come before you. Amen. I submit myself into your care. Amen. I bring myself before you. Father Lord, I disappear right now so that you appear. Amen. Whatever that is going to come out from my mouth, Lord, it will not offend your children, Amen. Lord. Father, give them eyes to listen. Amen. Give them ear to hear. Amen. And let them do it in your world. Amen. Father, Lord, you over. Yes. May I not speak my own words. Amen. May I not speak my own words. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father,
hearts of the device of wickedness. Praise the Lord. Good people that don't work, that don't cause confusion into your life, that don't stir up trouble, fights into your life. Because as a child of God, you need to avoid what? Fight. You need to avoid trouble. You need to anyone that will cause you pain, that will make the spirit of God in you grieve, stay away from them or avoid them. Because the Bible said, no one should grieve the spirit of God in us. Because the moment the spirit of God in you start grieving, start feeling pain, have sadness or whatever, you will not see God again. Instead of not take if you can, if you don't know how to overcome those pains, praise the Lord. So those people can take you away from God. Praise the Lord. Now God is saying, He said God does not say we should work, we should harm or try to try and change or inform the world the, ne the negative people. But stay away and do not be yoked with what with them. Praise the Lord. God says, stay away from what? From negative people. Do not be yoked with them. You have nothing to do with them because you are a child of God. As far as they have wickedness in their heart, they have the, their way, their way of thinking. They always think negative. They have nothing good in them. Please stay away from them. Praise the Lord. So today I just try to teach. I don't want to preach, but because I want many believers to understand that for you to avoid some people that is not good, it's not a sin. Because if God says stay away from these people, you must stay away from them. You must avoid them. Otherwise, otherwise, what will happen? Let us go. Let's open our Bible to Proverbs 22, verse 24 to 25. Please, maybe I will take ten minutes of your time because I want you to get into it. Please, can you read for me? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 24 says, Don't make friends with people who have hot, violent tempers. Listen, he said what? He said, Do not make friends with people who have what? A, a hot temper. Look at the people who say you should what? You should avoid. Do not what? If you say do not make friends with them, please don't. Don't continue. You might learn their habits and not be able to change. Praise the Lord. Are you getting it? You may learn their habit and not be able to what? Change. Praise Master Jesus. An untempered person, God says, do not do what? Make friends with them. You may learn their habits, not be able to what? Change. Praise the Lord. So I just want to take you through scripture because when you are avoiding some people in your life, don't let your conscience, don't let your conscience judge you. Because sometimes those conscience is not from God, it's from Satan. Because the untempered person, when they always hurting you, giving you pains, and instead of not taking, you will learn what? You will learn their habit because you cannot resist them anymore. Then you want to be challenging them back. Praise Master Jesus. And the Bible said, maybe you may not be what change are you following what i'm saying i'm trying to teach today because there is manipulating those that is manipulating christian that oh when you try to avoid people they will try ah, she says she's a christian say christian look the way she's behaving no if you have all temper i can't make a friend with you i'm sorry because i may learn your way praise the lord I may learn your way because when you are insulting me, you are, you are trying to hurt me. Try, sometimes I try to resist you, try to what? To resist you, but sometimes if I cannot resist you, what I will do? I will try to learn your way so that when you insult me, I will insult you back. Because all type of people, you really don't do them anything. Only let one thing you will say, they will get provoked. Praise Master Jesus. So now, one read, continue. Amen. Praise the Lord. So just quickly turn to Psalm. Psalm 119, verse 115. Let's see what God is saying there. See, David was talking here. He said, Away from me, you, you evil doers, that I may keep the commandment of my God. Praise the Lord. 
What David was saying, he said, away from me. That means go away. You give on to us. You give on to us that I may what? Keep the commandment of my God. Praise Master Jesus. Now you are associated yourself with evil to or with bad people, with wicked and negative people. You cannot keep the commandment of God because you may learn their way. Praise Master Jesus. That's why you need to avoid them completely. As a public Christian, you have nothing to do with these people. Praise the Lord. Proverbs Proverb 14, verse 7. He said, he said, stay away from a fool, for you, for you will not find knowledge on their lips. Praise Master Jesus. Because when you associate yourself with foolish people, instead of not taking, you start acting like a fool. That's why God was saying that you should what? Follow good people. Associate yourself with what? Good person. Good people. Don't follow people that don't have brain to think. People that always think negative things. People that always try to destroy other people. Just read for me. Let's go quickly to 1 Corinthians 5, 11 to 13. Let's see what God is saying.
Their attitude is not Christ-like. You must have Christ-like. Praise Master Jesus. If you don't have Christ-like, such people need to be removed from your midst. Or you pray for them to change. Or find a way to avoid them. Praise the Lord. It's not my word. It's the word of God. Because God knows that these people will do what? He says, bad company will corrupt good character. Praise Master Jesus. Are you getting it? So please, when you have such people, you know them by their way. Negative people, you know them by their way. People that have bad attitudes, you know them by their way. Praise Master Jesus. He said, Proverbs 13, verse 20. He said, he said, walk with the wise and become wise. For a companion of a, a companion of a fool suffer harm. Praise Master Jesus. When you walk with wise people, you will what? You will become wise. But when you follow foolish people, you will become foolish. Praise Master Jesus. That's why God is telling you here today now. Choose your friends. Follow people that can feed you with spiritual food. That can do what? That can also sharpen you. You also sharpen them. What the Bible said in Psalm, in Proverbs 27, verse 17, he said, As iron sharpened iron, so one person sharpened another. Praise Master Jesus. When you follow food, you learn their way. When you follow negative people, because what about negative people? What are they doing? They complain too much. They don't believe in God. Everything about them is negative. So such people, you need to you need to avoid them completely. Because they have nothing to feed you with. Every time you see them, ah, brother, how are you? I'm not fine. They always complain. No good thing always comes to them. Why? Even the even good things coming to them, they always say that it's not enough. But a bad company, bad association, negative people, they are not the right people to follow. Follow people that can sharpen you, people that can feed you with spiritual food, people that can tell you about Christ. You also the picture you have, you're so shared with them. Before you know, you start growing spiritually. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says, I know sharpened iron. Then as a serpent, another person sharpened another. Then when you have followed foolish people, you will become foolish by them. Praise the Lord. So that's why we should not follow them. We should not associate ourselves with such people. Hallelujah. Now the Bible is saying Psalm 1, verse 1. It says, blessed is, the, blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. Are you getting it? Or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the com uh, company of the mockers. Praise the Lord. There is some people again, their way is to their way is to love other people. They mock people. And they get themselves, they don't, they don't make it right. They are not even good. They gossip other people, they mock other people, whatever they whatever their eyes see, they gossip it. Such people you need to what? The Bible says don't sit with them. Praise the Lord. Because when they are always bringing on other people to gossip other people, before you know you will learn their way. You will start gossiping. Anything your heart is saying. The Bible says pray at all times. When your heart is saying so say it is as a child of God, pray, go on your knee and pray for them. God can change them. Praise the Lord. But those people that are always gossip, anything their eyes, they must talk about it. They must try to, like, even though they talk about it, now, as sister, see what happened to another person. Let's pray for that person. That is good. But not to be talking about it, find a way to mock them. That is a sin. Praise the Lord. Who are you to judge other person? Who are you to mock other person? Do you know that life can change with the color of eye? Do you know those people that they are nobody today, tomorrow they can be somebody? Why are you laughing at person? Why are you laughing at other people? If God made them to poor today, it doesn't mean God will not leave them up tomorrow. Are you getting it? So we should not laugh for other people. We should not mock them. And the Bible said, David is saying that don't even sit with such people. Don't sit with them. Run away from them. Praise the Lord. Let them talk. Let them say, ah, that sister, uh, she became a Christian. She just tried to avoid me. If your attitude is bad, then we avoid you. There is nothing I can do about it. Otherwise, the Bible says, I will learn your way. Because I want to learn the way of Christ. That's why I don't want to associate myself with you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you getting it? So now, now the Bible is saying here in 2 Corinthians 6, verse 14. It says, do not 
be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? Praise the Lord. If you are a righteous person, what, fellow, what relationship do you have with a wicked person? Huh? And the Bible also is saying it. What light and darkness? Light and darkness cannot be together. Because it's not possible. Well, now we are in daylight. So when night come, that is night. Now we are light. So light and darkness have not to do together. So we can person and um, uh, uh, godly person have nothing to do together. Hallelujah. Because you are you are a Christian, not just a Christian, because everybody claims we are a Christian. But are you born again Christian? Ask yourself, are you born again Christian? If you are a born again Christian, you have nothing to do with wicked people. Run for them. Otherwise, you will learn to become wicked like them. Praise the Lord. Because you are a lovely person, your heart is good. You are kind. For instance, now, you are a giver and you are going with people that don't give. Anytime you are giving, they like they, they will try to, to be pulling you down. Why are you so kind? That these people don't deserve it. Before you know, you will learn their way. But when you find out that this person is not kind, is a bad person, the Bible says run away from them because your giving will lead you to heaven. Hallelujah. And your giving also will open doors for you. Praise Master Jesus. So such people that is wicked, they don't know how to give, they don't want to give, and when you are giving, they try to, to stop you. Bible say, run away from them. Praise the Lord. Because your giving will open doors for you. Your giving will give you long life. Your giving will do what? We bless you. He said, the hand that give, receive. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, like darkness and light have nothing to do together. Hallelujah. Let's be our feet if I don't want to take your time. So Psalm, Psalm 26 verse, verse 4, he said, I do not sit with the deceitful, nor do I associate with hypocrites. 5 said, he said, the assembly of evil doers and refuse to sit with the wicked people. He said he did not associate himself with the words, with those that deceive or we do not associate itself with hypocrites, or he don't sit with assembly of the evil to us, he refuse to sit with what? With the wicked people. Praise Master Jesus. So now, the Bible is telling you today it's not by force to associate yourself with wicked people. Let them turn the heart. This, that, don't mind them. Go, go your way. Christ is your friend. Remember? Holy Spirit is your friend. And when you find good people, go with them. Iron sharpening iron. But when you have bad people, run away from them. Otherwise, they will not let you follow the commandments of God. Praise the Lord. Why are you a Christian? Because you want to obey the instruction of God. The Bible said in the book of Psalms, it said, it said, obey is better than sacrifice. Let's be on our feet. Praise the Lord. Finally, let me conclude it with James chapter 3, verse 16. He said, For where heaviness and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. Praise the Lord. Evil people always bring fight. Evil people always hurt you. Hot temper people always make you grieve. Before you know, when you have a grieving spirit, before you know, if you don't know how to let it go, evil words with words will be coming into your thoughts. Before you know, you started hurting negative. Praise the Lord. So that is the reason you need to stay away. When you discover any bad people around you, please, it's not a sin. Run from them so that you will obey the commandment of your God. Praise the Lord. Father, may you bless your word. Father, I have delivered your message so that your children will have awareness that it's not a sin to stay away from evil people, for wicked people, for negative people, for untapered people, because they will not do anything is to harm us 
or to let us learn the evil way. Father, we refuse to be all temper person because God will not love them. Whoever that have all temper is not of Christ because Christ is gentle, Christ is kind, Christ has peace, Christ is lovely, Christ, oh my God, everything, all the fruits is of Christ, the good fruits, but the evil fruit is of the Satan. Father, may we not learn and not buy anything for the devil worship. Holy Spirit, may you fill us with your spirit. Come and teach us, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every time.